Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over another loadout and another overclock. This time we're going to be taking micro flechettes for the burst pistol. What micro flechettes does is that it gives you a huge increase in ammo, it gives you a much larger magazine size, it gives you much less recoil and spread per shot, however it significantly gimps your damage. So you lose 11 points of damage for this, and this is with each bullet. That is a pretty substantial amount of damage lost. You do get tons and tons of bullets for this though, so you can spray it out very frequently. The way that I usually like running micro flechettes is like this. So I take blow through rounds in tier 1 so that we can potentially hit multiple enemies and get a little bit more damage. You could go with just damage in tier 1. I wouldn't really recommend the increased accuracy and decreased spread. You really don't need it with this one unless you want to just be super accurate, but even then, you really don't need it, you're already super accurate. In tier 2, I go with faster reload speed, but increased rate of fire can also be pretty good with this. Don't take the recoil reduction in this tier, it's just not worth it. You get so much from just the overclock itself. Tier 3, I like going with damage. I would say take this over magazine size, usually you don't need more than 54 rounds in your gun. That's a little bit excessive. Tier 4, I find armor breaking can work fairly well in this, but I usually take weak spot damage. You don't really need ammo. If you want the most amount of ammo, you can take that one and have over 400 rounds just with your secondary, which is pretty crazy, but you're not doing very much damage with it. I think the other two options are better. And then in Tier 5, I like going with a longer burst. This just lets us have some damage on the gun. You could again go with the stun here. Stunning an enemy for quite a while can be kind of useful, especially against things like Mactera if you're only using it for that purpose. Since this weapon gives us so much ammunition and so much sustain, we don't really need to take a primary that also gives us a lot of sustain or has a whole bunch of bullets. You absolutely could if you want, but I would recommend something with high single target damage. And for this, I'm going to be taking Big Bertha with the auto cannon, which is a fantastic overclock. It gives you a lot more damage with the auto cannon, a lot more single target damage. Still has good AOE damage like the auto cannon always does. And we're going to be using this against basically everything and then just switching to the burst pistol when we need time to reload this. This does have a smaller magazine size, so uh, Born Ready will be triggering that. And basically, we're not going to be able to run out of burst pistol shots before Born Ready triggers and reloads this one, so we can switch back and forth between these weapons throughout the entirety of the fight. If you wanted other options for the auto cannon, basically anything would work here. I would probably recommend something like splintering shells. That would be another really good option because it just gives you more damage and just more auto cannon stuff. So if you really like the base auto cannon, you're probably going to like splintering shells a whole lot. If you'd like something for the minigun, you could go with Lead Storm. Lead Storm's really good against single targets, and it also is really good at long range, but it doesn't have a whole lot of mobility, so anytime you want to move just switch to the burst pistol you could also go with one of the other damage overclocks too you could go with a little more ohm for burning hell or exhaust vectoring all of those would be pretty good too with the hurricane i'd recommend something along the lines of overtuned feed mechanism that gives you an increased rate of fire and you can just hold a lot of shots with this this is just a solid all-around overclock if you wanted more damage you could go with something like salvo module if you want burst damage but then you want to use your burst pistol for uh, longer range enemies or you could go with something like jet fuel if you want high single target damage you could also go with something like mine layer system which will let you have pretty decent aoe damage with this as well so i'm going to be taking this on a has five oil mission and we're going to see how it works hopefully you guys enjoy Ooh, hey, we're rich. Oh, that's right. We can't ping it because Bosco's here. No. The one downside to having Bosco. Oh, we can't go this way. Dang. Well, we can, but... There's already a swarm. All right. If I can find some red sugar, that'd be great. I got kind of beat up on my way in here. Well, it looks like that might continue here in a second because there was a lot more stuff over here than what I thought. Oh, well, that's bad. I'll disconnect it over there. I might be dead from jellyfish. I'm dead from jellyfish. <laughs> that was a lot of jellyfish. I guess Bosco was trying to fight the roller. Hmm. Alright, well. Steve, fight for us. Thank you, Steve. Oh, I'm sliding across the ice. <laughs> it's not a great place to be fighting. I shot myself. <laughs> that was unfortunate. I didn't even get hit by anything besides my own grenade. Alright, well, thank you again, Bosco. I'm gonna use this one more time. No more beasties and coming. Alright, well that's good because I already got down twice. 
And I'm still stuck in a hole. Oh, hey, there's some red sugar. It's... It's above another big hole. Go, oh, I found a leech. Wait, did I call that down the long time? I think I did. Huh. You can still interact with that while you're getting grabbed by a leech. Um... What just happened to me? I was trying to mine up to get out of this place and somehow I ended further here. Oh, this one inbound. Alright. Well... We just have to keep building our pipeline up then. Actually, this doesn't seem so bad. If we can keep it going like this... First pistol to pick things off at a distance. Then if there is anything big, switch to our primary weapon and pick that off. Or again, once we run out of bullets with this. Oh, I'm actually almost frozen too. Yeah, well we're nearly out of bullets, switch off of it so we can keep using the burst pistol. And then once the corn ready kicks in, switch back to the primary. At least if you're using the hurricane or the auto cannon. Using the minigun, obviously you won't have to do this. Unless you're running like aggressive venting. In which case then you totally could. Just keep on spraying at the enemies. And our gun reloads. <laughs> this actually functions very similar to if you want to take the Sabata and the uh, flamethrower. I kind of use them in the same function here. That's honestly a great spot for that. Again, we're gonna use the pipelines for some level of mobility here. He's dear. You ready, buddy? Oh, hey, I have five more Apocalypse Blooms. Awesome. Well, then, um, let's get to it. Yes, who cares if there's a massive snowstorm? We should be fine, right? Hopefully. I'm gonna grab my other resupply though. Pet steel along the way for moral support. And, um. Huh. Neither of these are in great spots. Alright, grab that. I think I have enough for another one of these, do I? No. Okay, Nitra can be pretty important. This build is generally pretty ammo efficient. Just like basically everything with the auto cannon, but. Never a bad idea to have more nitra. Always go for more nitra if you don't know what else to do. <laughs> ah, more jellies. Dang it. Jellyfish have honestly been like the most dangerous thing to me right now. I can't easily hit them with this. You guys killed Steve. You must die for that. <laughs> okay. on the ice. Which pipeline is leaking? Oh, this one's leaking. Alright. Get this one fixed up. I wonder if it's one break or two. The other break must be all the way over here. Yeah, all the way over here. Oh, I can get another Steve. I probably should have used that front as another Steve, huh? See if we can find another guard or something. All those would be standard Steves. We need an exceptional Steve. I guess we could also break open a piece too. Oh hey! <laughs> like me, I found a play guard. Oh. There's only two breaks the whole time? Okay, cool. I was looking around for some more um, play guards. I did not find any, so. Let's get out of here and try not to get swarmed by jellyfish. <laughs> that could very well kill me. Okay. Why do we even? 
down. <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> Dang jellyfish. Bosco, if you could help me with the jellyfish, that would be great. Because I can't seem to hit them. Still is my other resupply over here. Take that while we can, and then we'll be on our way. Steve died again? It's like the fourth Steve we went through. And they've all been guards. Hmm. Alright, well, that's convenient. Alright, goodbye, cruel planet. See you around. Let's see, we got 320 kills, two downs. Yep, I got mauled in the ice pit the other time. That was not way great.